okay so we will start with the very first example of ANOVA test so after this example everything will be clear and this is what we have to follow so TVS lectures were theoretical and it will be useful for deeper understanding but if you don't get everything about that don't worry and just follow this video and you are good to go with your exams so here it is given that we have three different types of gas and it is tried by five different motors so this is motor number one this is m1 let's say motor or some car then this is motor two motor car three four and motor car five and these are three different type of gas so the question says that test the hypothesis that the average mileage obtained is not affected by the type of gas used so some company is there some car rental company is there and he is having some uh, motors of different different types and he wants to uh, check the average that mileage of these three gases okay and this is the hypothesis that the average mileage is not affected by any of the gas used so all cars are using three different types of gas so he wants to test this hypothesis so how you will test and it is given that the significance level that is alpha is 0 0.05 or we can say we have 5% of significance level so how we will proceed so the very first step as I said I will be dividing everything step by step so step number one will be to calculate our SSB now in order to calculate SSB because we know that let me just write the formula for SSB that SSB is given by n into summation of i equals 1 to m xi dot xi double dot and its square so in order to calculate SSB we'll need xi dot and xi double dot so firstly we'll calculate these two things and we know that how is xi dot calculated so we have to calculate for all i's so let's say x1 dot will be summation over all j's x1 j divided by n right similarly x2 dot will be summation of all x2 j divided by n right and similarly we have since we have three things so let me just extend this here that this, this one one more column I am adding that it's summation of xij or all j's so it is nothing but firstly this what we are doing is that we are having big numbers here so if we subtract all the entries that is all these entries by some particular number then it won't affect anything right so what I'm doing is that since I spotted that my first entry is 220 this is just because we are good for our calculation purpose it's not like that we have to do this mandatorily but since there are bigger numbers taking square and adding will be kind of complex in terms of calculation and that's why what I'll do is that I'll just subtract 220 from all the numbers because here I can see that 220 is smallest so we will not get any negative numbers as well so everything is good to go so I'll just subtract 220 and I'll quickly write the results that I'm getting on this page yeah so this page I'll write that I have gas here one two three and this is our mileages that we are getting but we'll write by subtracting 220 so first will be zero so just I'm writing quickly you will verify it and let me know if there is something wrong in there and this is 32 52 30 18 and 36 now I'll add one more column as I said before that I want xij summation this is i and this is j over all j's so that is nothing but we have to sum all of this and we'll get 103 if you will sum similarly I'll get 78 for this and similarly I'll get 168 for this and I'm adding one more column that is xij square so what we are doing we are first squaring it 36 uh, 31 square 6 square 26 square 40 square and then whatever is the summation we are writing it here so I'm writing because I pre-calculated so it's 1454 and it will be 6248 right now we know that here we have total m equals to 3 
total m samples and each sample is having five data points right we have total three different types of population and from each population we are having the five samples now we are ready for our ssp calculation so we need ssb now for that we need xi dot and x double dot so xi dot will be x1 dot x2 dot and of course x3 dot because we have three things here guess one guess two and guess three right so we'll calculate x3 dot as well so it will be like let me try start with xi dot so it's nothing but we have to sum all of this that we already did 103 and just divide by total so total is 5 so what i'll do is i'll just have 103 divided by 5 and this will be some 20.6 similarly this will be 78 divided by 5 x2 dot so i'm just writing 78 by 5 it will be 15.6 and similarly it's 15.6 okay not 156 similarly x3 dot will get as 168 divided by 5 and that will get is 168 this is and it is 33.6 now it's time for x double dot so i'm just writing here and we know that what's the formula and i'm just writing it directly i hope you remember from our last lectures and that's why previous lectures are important just to have formulas at least so it's xij and divided by nm so it's like we are having all the summations and we are dividing by n into m and we know that what is our n and what is our m so here m is 3 and n is 5 and here what we are doing we are summing all so what we are summing we are summing that xij right so it will be 103 plus 78 plus 168 so what i am doing is here is that i am summing 103 so this we already calculated right correct this is this only because we have for all x1 x2 and x3 so this entire summation up till n will constitute the summation of 103 or divided by n as well so n is also there right so we already had this summation so i can write as 103 plus 78 plus 168 that we already had that is the summation of this and we have to just divide it by this thing that is n into m sorry i just had wrong direction divided by n into m so 3 into 5 is 15 so this we will get is 23.2667 right so taking it square x dot square because we will need it so square will be something around 541.33 right now we are all set to calculate our ssb so i'll just put everything here that ssb will be 5 because n is 5 and we have xi dot for i equals to 1 x1 dot so we have x1 dot as 20.6 so i'll write 20.6 minus what we want x double dot and x double dot we have as 23.2667 so i'll write 23.2667 and it's square phi is outside okay so let me just have bracket then we have summation for now our i equals 2 so x2 dot this we already have 15.6 so i'll write 15.6 minus 23.2667 i hope now think is clear so i'm just writing for the third one that is 33.6 minus 23.2667 this is 2667 and it's whole square so when you will calculate this you will get 863.3335 right so step number one is over that is our ssb value is this thing now let's move towards step number two which is our ssw now while calculating by hand because this can be done by many softwares in python as well or in some other softwares as well of statistics but there is one software called past past so it, it can be done in that as well but while calculating by hand which is especially the case in our examinations what we do is we use this identity to calculate ssw which identity let me just write it's that summation over all the all, all the data points that we have xij and squared it is nm 
it is m okay x double dot square plus ssb plus ssw now we already know ssb from our step number one this we have to calculate so we will make this subject and this we already know we calculated x dot dot and its square as well that's why i calculated square here because i'll need it in step number two and this we already have x ij square where we have because i did this as well we have to take just the summation of all this so if i take summation we'll get 10,975 right so let me just quickly proceed to calculate this so this I will have as 10,975 then I will take both this term this side so it will be minus nm is 15 n into m is 15 and xi square x double dot square sorry it's already 541.3393 and ssb that we already got it's 863.3335 and this will be value of our ssw and if you will calculate you will get something around 1991.578 now it's a time for test statistics and we know that our ts is given by ssb minus uh, ssb divided by ssw but ssb divided by m minus 1 and ssw divided by nm minus m right so our ssb was 863.3335 and our m is 3 so it will be 3 minus 1 2 and this will be 1991.578 divided by nm minus m will be 15 minus 3 it will be 12 so we'll get 2.60 now our main task is the decision task now we have our test statistics now we have to calculate the f value from our table now for decision we need our f value and as i told we had our significance level alpha as 0 0.05 so as discussed in our previous lecture we have to see the value of f m minus 1 nm minus m and alpha which is nothing but here f 2 because m minus 1 is 2 nm minus m will be 12 and alpha is 0 0.05 what is this value that we have to calculate so what we'll do is we'll quickly go to here and we know that here uh, we our uh, let me just check again that our numerator coefficient like it is 2 and our denominator is 12 degrees of freedom not coefficient sorry so these are degrees of freedom so it is for numerator because m minus 1 is on numerator and this is for denominator so i'll quickly check so here as you can see let me just show you by highlighting that for 2 this is for numerator so for 2 and for 12 in the denominator what's the value it's 3.89 correct so here our value is 3.89 now our test statistics as we already calculated in the previous step is 2.60 and our f value that we are getting based on significance level and degrees of freedom is 3.89 and as we said that since our test statistics is not exceeding this f value we can say that we can accept our null hypothesis because what we told in last lecture is that when our test statistics is sufficiently large how much large that is larger than this f value but here it's just 2.60 which is not larger than 3.89 so we'll accept h0 so we can say that at 5% significance level we can accept h0 in this case so this is how we calculate our uh, some problem sum on hypothesis testing especially the ANOVA test now one important thing which is not important in terms of exam or something but for conceptual basis because I try to cover everything so as I said that for our second hypothesis the, sorry for our second estimator that is our SSB that we calculated I told that it will always exceeds sigma square when H0 is not true this is what I told if I can go back in the previous lecture slide so this I told that while calculating SSB that it will always exceed and, and at that time I told that 
uh, why it's always exceed it can decrease as well but there is a one proof mathematical steps there are few mathematical steps but it's quite a bit more mathematical that's why i'm not preferring to cover it but if you want let me know in the comment section and i'll make it for you so that's set about this video and i'll encourage you all to uh, practice more problem sums and you can refer books as well from the good books of statistics are available and you can also google directly the sums of hypothesis testing or ANOVA test and it is very important that which test you should use when based on the data that you are being provided in the exam you have to choose at that time that whether you will choose Z test, T test, F test, which test you will use. So that is the thing that is very much important in this hypothesis testing and this is very important topic in data science nowadays. So that's it about this video. Thank you.